that that was a drive that was a heck of a drive you guys might wondering what i'm doing here in the middle of nowhere i actually came to a camping trip with my boy victor and i was supposed to meet him right here in this very parking lot uh an hour ago i mean two hours ago to be honest uh i'm here just a little a tad two hour late because i had to leave the house an hour late and then i had to stop to buy some stuff on the way here uh that's why i am two hours late uh, i have the campsite's information we were supposed to meet up here in order to go and do a little hiking right here up those rocks. This is called Seneca uh, Rock Trailhead, Seneca Rock uh, Trail, and it's beautiful. I never thought I'll see something this beautiful here in the state of Virginia, in West Virginia. We are right now in West Virginia. I live three hours away, and it was three hours of drive. The plan is to use that beautiful rooftop tent that I got myself. If you haven't watched the video that I posted about getting the rooftop tent, it's gonna pop up in a banner, link in the description as well. And yeah, Woo. it's been pretty windy. It's crazy how windy it is. So I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and see if I can uh, find the campground and just head to the campground. Cause I believe uh, Victor's gonna be at the campground. Uh, it's pretty crazy that there's an hour drive to the campground. I didn't see that coming. Also, there's no signal, uh, that's why I downloaded the maps before, which is pretty good. Thanks, Victor, again for the tip. By the way, this is my first time camping, like ever. Really good that I got myself a rooftop tent so I can do stuff like this. And I'm finally overlanding. It started with just a simple making a coffee, and now we are going to actual camping. I'm pretty excited about this. This is a beautiful road to our campsite. It's just amazing. It goes like it turns thousands of times and just going higher and higher in altitude oh my god look at this road <laughs> what <laughs> this is amazing wow it's beautiful i missed my challenge because i could have actually raped it really hard in these roads uh actually never mind I am happy I don't have the Challenger here because it turned to a forest road and it's terrible. Look at the size of these bumps. Look at the size of these. Uh, uh. Wow. Can I go over 20 miles an hour? It's terrible. But there he is. Finally made it to the campground. The man. The legend, Modern. Mr. Victor. Hi. Yeah, don't show me doing this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Modern, Modern problem. What's up, bro? What's up? Oh, guys, Modern. I finally made it. So there was a stretch that was beautiful. I was like, I wish I had my Challenger. And then all of a sudden, it turned to not being beautiful. By the way, I have my stove and I have hot dogs and everything else if you want. Victor already has a setup and I have to open up my tent too. Uh, opening is easy, hard part is closing. So, wish me luck. Fingers crossed. Yeah, all of it. Got the tent set up. <sighs> Gotta go and use the restroom because it's been a long two hours since the last time I stopped. I am using this Insta360 Go 2 a little more than I should because it's so easy to just, you know, hit record and go. My camera's pretty heavy, but this thing is pretty dope gotta use the restroom and then go finish setting the camp up this is the first time i'm setting the camp setting up the camp so so this fire is giving us a headache it's not working we cannot set the fire but good thing i have the stove and we're about to make some uh steak i did buy some uh hot dogs and eggs so we're probably gonna have that for breakfast in the morning we're gonna have some steak for the dinner and yeah it's pretty cool it's like 53 degrees and it's pretty dark in here so sorry if you guys can't see me real good chef in the house mr victor himself not even close yet. Sheesh. 
funny thing is we both don't have salt and pepper. <laughs> and we are cooking. Also, I'm jealous of them on the other side. They have fire and we don't. It's so dark in here. I can't even see anything. But we are having food. Overland, thank you for the light, bro. <laughs> I'm finally overlanding. <laughs> Yay! I guess the steak was in the north and I'm having hot dogs. I didn't know how many to camp and make you hungry. Yeah, we just had dinner. It was actually pretty good. I ended up having uh, one. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Come, come clean. I had two hot dogs because I was still hungry. Uh, boiling some water. Almost there. So we can have some tea. I know it's gonna be. It's gonna, I know it's a little late, but uh, having tea is always good. Well, it's the first night ever camping and first night ever sleeping in the tent. I got plenty of space in here. I have my. Uh, bag right there, shoes here, here, and water plus my phone. There's no signal, but I'm ready to sleep. It's a little scary because there's only this thing between me and the uh, wild, wild outdoors. But it's pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool tonight. It's pretty cold, but I think it should be fine. So. Uh, gonna sign off for now wake up in the morning and go to see the sunrise and Should be fun. Should be a pretty fun day tomorrow See you guys in the morning I think it's time for the sunrise I slept pretty good It's nice to sleep up here. Yeah, and right, I'm gonna get ready and head out. Victoria's already awake it's so nice, just like listen to this. Not the bark for sure, but listen to this. Again, not the bark. You know what I'm saying. Ah, cool. I gotta get my tripod and head out because the sunrise is just around the corner. Uh, definitely gonna need this. And the sun comes out. And the tripod. Let's go. Perfect. So yesterday I'm trying to come on this washboard road. Like slowly. But right here. Victor is doing 50 miles an hour. <laughs> and then it feels like nothing. Because probably it's because it's a Subaru. But yeah. The difference between the SUV. I thought the SUV might be a little better. But in this scenario. Uh, a Subaru is better. Sun. One and us zero. Uh, it beat us to it basically, but it would have been a really nice sunrise. I'm really sad that the sunrise was earlier than we thought uh, because we don't have service, we couldn't figure out when it is. Um, but we're here, we're gonna make coffee, we're gonna enjoy our coffee, and after that, we're gonna head back and uh, I gotta close my tent. It's easy for Victor because it's not that hard of a closing how hard is it to close your tent not hard at all huh. not hard at all maybe i sell my rooftop tent and get an actual <laughs> tent too just like that got some peter mckinnon coffee i heard it's pretty good uh give one to sepper he tried it he loved it so gonna grind it also thanks kian for letting me Use your uh, coffee grinder, not just grinder. I'm gonna see how it works. Yes. Grind some coffee. <laughs> oh, it smells so good, Victor, smell this. Oh my God, it smells so good. Peter McKinnon, good job, bro. <laughs> Look at me, good job, bro, Peter McKinnon. Like, he sees these videos. This is my morning workout. I've been grinding for the past 15 minutes. I need a fine course or fine ground. Now I think I am having some fine ground in here, guys. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Just like a powder. It's beautiful. 
The water is boiling too, and then we're gonna have the coffee. Finally. This is the longest time I've been doing this. Oh, smells so good. Okay, Peter McKinney's coffee for the first time. Just started without me, so. 10 out of 10. You will know better, but. Hmm. <laughs> you don't know how do you feel about it? Hmm. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. No? Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> I thought it was good. Let's have a bit of coffee. Better than this. You know, it must be because it's. Peter McKinnon's uh, it's overhyped. Oh, Usually, you know, overhyped. like a brand, typical brand. <laughs> Peter, I mean, it's good. what the? F <laughs> like bro, gonna... bro, <laughs> I'm gonna title this video. Peter McKinnon's <laughs> coffee suck. Don't, okay, it's not. The not buy this. Is this what you drink, bro? Fucking oh, shit. Watch the video before you buy it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I just noticed this. Guys, don't leave traces. Come on. Salt and vinegar? Oh. Do not forget your controller. Because <laughs> that's not going to be a gonna nice uh, thing to, you know, leave behind. Oh, wait. <laughs> you have a drone right there, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. I didn't see the drone. I only saw the controller. Uh, we're going to go back to the campsite and uh, probably not... Oh, we're going to have breakfast, actually, right? We're going to have... Do we have time for... Yeah, breakfast. I got eggs and sausage. Or hot dogs. <laughs> it's not sausage, it's hot dogs. So we're going to have eggs and hot dogs. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get sausage. I could get chorizo. Choritos. But I got hot dogs. Oh, it just locked on me. It's okay. Kind of want to go up here and take another 30 minutes nap, but we are tight on the time. So let me take the table out. And then we take the stove out. And then we make some eggs and... Hot dogs, <laughs> not eggs and sausage. looking good okay you know what i'm gonna make myself a sandwich too jafari's Jafari is a special right, let's, let's, get, let's see that first bite bro let's go oh let's go for it sheesh <laughs> no salt no pepper but it looks good oh ketchup yeah i'm gonna where's my ketchup did i put my ketchup in my pocket i did put i put the ketchup in my pocket second cup of coffee served what do you think of Cheers. this one Better. Not Peter McKinning, but is it better? Better and bitter. Bitter and better. <laughs> it is a little bitter, but it is definitely better. Peter McKinning, come on. It's just, a, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it feels like it's just a hype. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely but this thing bad. is good. What I have to do next is break that thing down. Or just, how do you say it? Close it, not break it down. I don't, don't want to break it down. Alright, time to close the tent. It's gonna take me for I think forever, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm already tired. I brought my pillow, yes. Done. Easier each time. We got everything in the cars. Uh, the tent is closed and we are ready to go to the lake I told you guys. So I'm gonna get in the car and get going. So I gotta change the battery on this camera.
up to get food in our bellies. Probably mean something. It says ice creams and drinks, bro. <laughs> I don't think it's food. Lunch is acquired. Acquired? Acquired. Yeah. Uh, pulled pork sandwich from this place is actually looking pretty good. Yeah, we thought it's an ice cream place, but there's a barbecue attached to it, and they sell the barbecue inside. And she was like, "A oh, pulled pork is perfect," so we took it. See how it is. It's time to part ways uh, with Victor. Uh, this was a really fun time. Thank you again for having me. We're gonna do this soon again. I'm yeah. promising you guys, I'm promising you, we gotta do this again with our camping gear. Maybe next time I have like a better setup, hopefully. But thank you so Where much. Where are we going bro. next? New York? Ocean City? Upstate New York? Ooh, Upstate New York. Let's do like a little bit of a shorter drive than a longer drive. The shorter drive than a longer drive. <laughs> Right, that works. Yeah, sure. Welcome to fill up number two from yesterday. This is the second time I'm putting gas in the car. I have about 100 miles left on the tank, but just to make sure because the gas is pretty cheap here in Manchester, Virginia, $4.50. And never thought I'd say $4.50 for 87 is cheap. Anyway, I'm wondering how many gallons I'm gonna be filling the car to uh, because I put 15 gallons yesterday. Drove 250 miles and I had about 100 miles left on the tank. Um, we'll, we'll have to see and find out what I did for gas mileage with the rooftop tent on the top too. Okay, 14.7 gallons. Not bad, 16.4 miles per gallon with a rooftop tent and going up the freaking mountain. Wow, I'm amazed. Wow. Finally made it back home. Uh, kind of wish this was a two day trip instead of a one or better to say half day trip. But it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I really enjoyed it again. Big shout out to Victor for uh, having me out there and letting me know about his plan. And let me join him because uh, I always wanted to start doing camping. That's why I bought this car. That's, that, was, that was the main reason. Well, I got a GX because in the beginning I said I want to go off-roading, potentially camping, and I'm happy that I finally did it. And I'm also more happy that I got home because I'm in need of shower and want to sleep on my bed. I kind of miss my bed too, even though the Tepui tent was actually pretty comfy last time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this uh, about camping. Uh, going out to the wilderness and doing more adventures. But with that all being said, as always, always stay amazing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. The last of the grinding. The last of the last.